Okay, so in this problem, um, you've got a tangent line CB, um, and then you also have a diameter HE, since this is circle A, and you're given a little bit of information, and you're essentially asked to solve um, uh, this triangle, or this circle. You want to find all the measures and arcs and angles that you can find, um, and so that's how we're going to approach this. The, the first thing you're given is that BCH equals 36, and we need to remember that when two secants meet outside of a circle, that means the value of that angle is equal to the difference of the intercepted arcs divided by two. The intercepted arcs in this case are HB, which we'll call X, and then BE. But the nice thing on this particular problem is that from H to HE is a diameter, so we know that arc is 180, and so we can call um, arc BE 180 minus X. So to find x, you would just say, well, 36 equals the difference, 180 minus x, minus x, divided by 2. That's got to equal 36. So you solve the equation. That gives you 72 equals 180 minus 2x. Um, negative 108 equals negative 2x. So x equals 54. And so we know that the measure here is 54. So we're going to replace x with, by 54. And then that means that this one down here is 180 minus 54, which would be 126. Using that information, we can say, find out that this angle here is 63, because 126 is an arc, and D is an inscribed angle that intercepts the arc at B, e, B and E. Um, we can look around to see if there's anything else. Right now, I don't see anything specifically else, uh, except that we do know this angle is 27, because it's the inscribed angle for BH. Uh, arc BH, so it's half of that. Uh, and we do know that this angle right here is 54 because that's a central angle with arc BH. The one other piece of information you're given is DB and BE. And so DB is congruent, this length here is congruent to BE. Well, what that tells us, besides the fact that that triangle BDE is isosceles, it also tells us that the arcs um, are congruent to each other. And so arc BD is congruent to BE, which means that BD, that arc right there, is 126. So to find HD, you just subtract away the 54, and you get 72, because 54 plus 72 equals 126, which then means this angle is 36. And so now we found almost everything we want to find. Uh, we found arc BE is 126, and we're looking for angle FBA, which is this angle. But unfortunately, that's not an inscribed, we don't know the arc for that inscribed angle. So we need it, but we do know this angle is 54. So if we can find this angle, then we can use what we know about triangles. Well, to find that angle, um, F is the intersection of two chords. And so the angle at the intersection of two chords is the average of the two arcs. And so if I want to find the measure of angle BFA, I just do 72 plus 126, because those are the two arcs that are intercepted by those two chords, and I divide that by 2. So that gives me 198 um, when I add those together divided by 2, which would be 99, and so that means this angle is 99. And then 99 plus 54 is 153. Subtract that from 180, and you get 27 degrees. So that angle right there is 127. Um, if you needed to, you could find this is um, 27 as well um, because of angle uh, angles, A is the center, so this is isosceles, um, and so that, that allows you to finish the problem.